All right, so we're going to do circumference of a circle today. And there's two formulas for circumference of a circle. I'm going to give you one to start. So the circumference equals pi times diameter. Since I'm given the diameter of that circle, I just use that in my formula. So circumference equals um, 8 times pi. It's multiplication. doesn't matter which one comes first. I like to write it as 8 times pi instead of pi times 8. All right. And then pi, we're going to estimate to be about 3 and 14 hundredths. So I need to do 8 times 3 and 14 hundredths to find what my circumference would be about. The exact answer would be 8 pi, but we want an estimate here. So just multiply this out. 8 times 4 is 32. 8 plus 3 is 11. 8 times 3 is 24, plus 1 is 25. And I got two decimals in my problem, so I got two in my answer. So my answer, the circumference, is about 25 and 12 inches, 1200 inches. All right, and I had said that there's two formulas, and we'll use the second formula now. So circumference equals 2 pi r. And I use this formula when I'm only given the radius. So two radiuses make a diameter. So that's why this formula is, it's essentially the same. You're just doubling the radius to find the diameter and then multiplying by pi. So my circumference equals two times pi times 10. So I do the two times 10 first. So circumference equals 20 pi. So now I need to estimate this. Remember we estimate pi to be about 3 and 14 hundredths, so I'm going to do 3 and 14 hundredths times 20. So zeros for the first one, zero placeholder, and then 2 times 4 is 8, 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 3 is 6. Add this up, I got two decimals in my problem, so I got two in my answer. So my circumference would be about, oh I didn't put units, let's call it centimeters. 62 and 8 tenths centimeters. Alright, so I'm given now the circumference equals 188 and 4 tenths, and I need to find the radius. So I'm going to use my circumference equals 2 pi r formula. So I know the circumference is 188 and 4 tenths, and that equals 2 pi r. So I'm not worried about the 2 pi right now. I'm just going to uh, worry about pi to start. So I'm going to divide by pi. So I'm going to do 188 and 4 tenths divided by pi, which is about 3 and 14 hundredths. So move my decimal over twice, move my decimal over twice, and add a zero. So now I got uh, 18,840 divided by 314. So it'll go in there uh, six times. So six times four is 24. Carry the two. Six times one is six, plus two is eight. Six times three is 18. Subtract, you get zero, bring down that zero. So 314 will go into zero, zero times. So by dividing by pi, I got 60 equals 2r. So my diameter would equal 60. So to find my radius, I just divide it by 2. So radius would equal 30. So that's how you take a um, circumference and find either the diameter or the radius. Alright, we'll do one more. So the diameter of my son's bike is 12 inches. How many rotations does the wheel have to travel? 1884 inches. So first we need to find what one rotation would be. So that's the circumference. So circumference equals um, given diameter. So it's just pi d. So circumference equals pi times 12 in this case. So we're going to do 3 and 14 hundredths times 12. So work this out. 2 times 4 is 8, 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 3 is 6, 0 placeholder, and then 1 times everything is itself. 
So I get 8, 6, 7, 3. Uh, two decimal points in my problem, so 2 in my answer. So one rotation, it goes 37 and 68 hundredths inches. So I need to figure out how many times to get 1,884. So I'm going to take that 1,884 and divide it by my 37 and 68 hundredths. So move my decimal twice, move my decimal twice. All right, now, so 3,680, we'll go into this five times. So five times eight is 40. Five times six is 30 plus four is 34. Five times seven is 35 plus three is 38. Five times three is 15 plus three is 18. So I subtract this and I get zero. Bring down that last zero. 3,768 will go into zero, zero times. So 50 is my answer. So 50 rotations to travel 1,884 inches.